Hi, I'm Bob Waterman. What we're going to look at in some of the stories that follow are some pretty amazing approaches to strategy. And why amazing? Well, the reason is that the way these companies organize is their strategy. Now think about it, in the past we've all been transfixed by the idea of strategy, but for most of us it's meant the brilliant idea, the grand concept, the great vision. Think of real strategy as sustainable competitive advantage. Think of organization uh, as not just structure but culture, something that's really hard to copy. And what could be harder to copy than somebody's organization? So my conclusion, and exactly the reverse of our past way of thinking, is that first you get your organization right, you know, then strategy follows. Can we decentralize things that, that are now more centralized, whether they're at the corporate level or at the plant level? This means that at AES, many of the functions that would traditionally be handled at corporate headquarters were decentralized to the employees. There was a memo put out to find out if anybody would be interested in uh, doing our debt reserve, reinvesting the money in it. And the maintenance team volunteered to do that as the first team to do it. Uh, anybody have any ideas on where we should invest and what we should stick with? We're not sure what the Fed's going to do with interest rates. It looks like if they're going to keep going up solely investments. I think we should go for 30 days. Merck is the biggest pharmaceutical company in the world, discovering and producing more new drugs each year than any of its competitors. Merck is a very large company. It remains innovative by having innovative people and letting them lead the company. If there's anything I enjoy is, is interacting with people who are smart and innovative and willing to take risks. At AES, each plant is a business unto itself. At Merck, it's the idea that each project is its own little company. So these companies have pushed the market decision-making mechanism inside the company as opposed to some kind of corporate Kremlin. And in some important sense, corporate strategy doesn't matter. If a small division is succeeding, invest more. If a project's failing, shut it down. In summary, all six ideas lead to a conclusion that seems to me inescapable. Organization is strategic. Your organizational arrangements just may be the most powerful strategic tools you have.